Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we are one day away from the most popular weekly trading method in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is the Thursday Flipping Investments. I want to take a look again this week at some stuff that we might be able to flip this week, buying before weekly rewards and selling after. Now, we really have to take into account how the market is acting right now, what is going on in this game, and it's almost kind of like dying in a sense. Uh, it just seems like people are not very active on the game. I want to talk about a few things that might kind of explain that, and maybe we do see some increased hype this weekend. And to be honest, man, I want to talk about this road to the final promotion because this road to the final promotion, in terms of the cards in packs, it's been kind of dead. It really has. I mean, we've had a Willian SBC. We've had the Joe Gomez SBC and the Corona SBC. We've had three player SBCs, which are okay, right? The value on on all those SBCs has been just okay. Um, and we have one objective player and Babu, which is fine. It's great and dandy. We haven't got pack supply though. That is the biggest thing that I want to talk about with this promo so far and that's why you know a lot of people have waited to buy their road to the final cards that they want in their team because we have not got pack supply since the weekend um i mean we're looking at these cards prices right now militao was up over 115,000 coins from where he was he was he was 400,000 coins he's now up to um 515 Sancho's up a little bit. Allen is up a lot. The guys that are the most overpowered and the most desired. Juan Jesus is up 10,000 coins. Um, Neres is up 10K. Coman's up 30K. Those very popular guys have risen in price up until today. But that's because there's been no supply. We had supply on the weekends. We had a couple pack SBCs. We don't even have promo packs in the store. For the past two days, the, the highest pack that they've had is the 12.5K pack, which is not really a promo pack that is in the store. Um, so that honestly baffles me. So they are up to something here with this road to the final promo. I don't know if they want us to buy in before we can leave rewards because we think they're not supplied at all. Um, and then they're going to just crash the market with supply this weekend or after rewards. Maybe the pack weight for these cards is going to be super high during rewards. Um, one thing that you can check, wow, this is interesting. This just changed because about an hour ago on the live stream, uh, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant, by the way, I do stream there multiple times per week. If you see at the bottom here, it says probabilities accurate as of the November 13th at 12 a.m. GMT. That means they just changed this pack weight. When I looked at it about an hour ago on stream, the last time that it had been updated was November 8th. Uh, 8th, November 8th, which is the first day that these cards were in packs uh, on Friday. So on Friday, the probabilities had not been changed since then, as it said down below. So they just changed um, the the probabilities for these road to the final cards. Now it's hard to tell because it's not a very good pack and it's going to say less than 1% to pack a road to the final card, but that does mean the pack weight has changed for them a little bit. So Depending on what we see today on Wednesday with content, that could really change our plans on when to buy our, when, our Thursday flipping stuff and just what direction the market goes in. So the first thing that we always do, that's a little bit of a market talk to get it out of, your, out of the way there, just kind of talked about the state of the market. But the first thing that we always do on these Thursday flipping videos is we look at the upcoming team of the week. As of right now, um, when I'm recording this video, Team of the Week 9 is not out yet. So this is a prediction from one of the best predictors on Twitter. His name is SimpleBlue88. Patrick, um, make sure you check him out. I'll leave the link to this Team of the Week prediction in the description. Um, and solid Team of the Week from this prediction. Lewandowski, Tellez, I think, is in. Messi has a possibility to be in. Nine Golan, Robertson, Chesney, Correa, Van de Beek. Solid team. Uh, I think out of this team of the week so far, if this was the actual team of the week that we would see on Wednesday, obviously, if you're watching this video afterwards, you know the team of the week already. So you can kind of think of link investments to these team of the week cards. Uh, but I think Tellez is a shoe in. Uh, I think Messi should be in. I think Payet should be in. Um, I honestly think Nangolan and Benzema should be in as well. So we, we'll see what happens um, with that stuff today with the team of the week nine coming out. But that's not going to affect our investing too much this week. I would say Telez would be the one. If you wanted to do a little bit of a link invest to, you might be able to get some Brazilians 
um, that you could link with him. And I'm going to talk about the best types of cards that I think we want to focus on this week at rewards and it's basically one type of card this is the way that i flipped cards last year last year for thursday flipping i literally would focus on only out of packs informs and special cards because again the gold supply was just very heavy and you were never guaranteed for the gold cards to go up because they get packed during rewards as well so i want to focus on again the out of pack special cards this week some of the best investments i think you can make this week are going to be the out of packs special cards and that actually includes team of the week number eight i am a big fan of this timo Werner card at 187,000 coins a lot of the strikers and a lot of the cards in this game have dipped down in price because of the fact that Jamie Vardy SBC came out and the new promo came out. This guy at 187K, I think is way too cheap. Um, you think about the informed Lewandowski, who is probably, it's Lewandowski and Werner for the best strikers in the Prem. Lewandowski is about 160K. His card was 200K before this past week and before all the panic. This is the fast version of, like this is the fastest striker. People want to use Werner for their Bundesliga squads because he is German, easy to link, and because he's pacey. Four-star weak foot, uh, so he can finish with either foot in front of goal. He's got good finishing stat, 89 finishing on this inform. Um, and I think this card is very undervalued at the moment, but nobody has their eyes on him. That's why he is undervalued. So if you're on a higher budget, I think this could be a card you see rise for Thursday flipping. Maybe it rises a little bit more on the weekend with the possibility of player of the month, Brandt. Uh, excuse me, not Brandt, um, Serge Nabry, Player of the Month Nabry coming out at the end of this uh, this week. I think that's come out on Friday. So watch this card for a weekly clip. If you see it at 180K, I mean, obviously he goes out of packs here really soon. I like that card for a Thursday flip. Delict, I kind of like as a Thursday flip for a, a, a link investment to Chesney. So there's a shout there. Hazard at 14K is a buy in my opinion. Throw one in the club and stock it left mid from the Bundesliga. But again, go through, this is what you can do with a lot of the stuff this week. You can look at either the team of the week and see what's gonna link to the team of the week, or you can just look through cards that are usable by a lot of people in this game. We'll look at team of the week six. What cards out of this team of the week are very popular, used by a lot of people, and in a lot of teams? Just think about what kind of teams you face up against in Weekend League and how those cards link together. Tyson will be a great one this week. He's Brazilian. There's a lot of new Brazilian cards in the game. Somebody's going to be putting Tyson in their team. Pacey, fast, good dribbling, fits this game's meta. Ducore is probably another great Thursday flip investment. Um, 68,000 coins at the moment. He's risen up a little bit today. Um, he was at 65 at one point, but just watch some of the sell-off on these. If we get a lot of stuff today on Wednesday with, uh, you know, content wise, we get packs. If people, if we get a league SBC and people are going to do a league SBC so that they have a chance to pack road to the final cards. Maybe if you see this card dip down somewhere below like the mid 60s, so like maybe like 63, 64 K on a bid, 65,000 coins would not be a bad shout out for this card. He was 72 K last weekend. But that was like his first weekend out of packs, uh, or second week out of packs, technically. So I could see this card going to mid 70s plus uh, on Thursday. That's a good one. He's in a ton of people's squads as a French Premier League midfielder. Um, from that team of the week, I like those cards right there. Even some of these scream cards, man. Even some of these scream cards. You have Otamendi. Where is he at? Where is Otamendi? Is he in the first team? He is. Otamendi is 225,000 coins right now. His card has taken a dip in price since the Joe Gomez SBC came out. 195K on Xbox. It's kind of low. But you can see his card last week, 229K um, right before I mean, he came back into packs. Boom, shot back up, going out of packs from 230 to 260. He's 225 right now with the Joe Gomez SBC going away on Thursday. I think this would be a good riser, maybe a little bit later into the weekend. Um, as long as we don't get another Premier League center back in the second set of the road to the final cards, I could see this card getting again up to like 250, 260, maybe even 270,000 coins uh, this week. So another good flip opportunity there. And honestly, just looking through a lot of these cards, Bernard, I think Bernard is a great weekend league flip investment. Uh, he was dropped, he dropped it a lot in the past couple of days with the hype of the Vinicius Jr. SPC coming. He was 170K at one point today. 
He's risen back up about 10,000 coins as people realize, hey, Vinicius didn't come. Uh, that's who they thought were, was going to win that voting, voting SBC, but he didn't win. And instead, Willian won. But people are probably buying this card back for their teams. This is a card I do think you will see rise. He's got plenty of links to plenty of cards that are going to be in Team of the Week. He's not going to be affected by any of the Player of the Months, really, um, unless Ben Yedder is super cheap again with that Player of the Month. Um, I want to talk about that in a bit as well. But some of these scream cards out of packs uh, could be good. Again, just focus on Premier League and then Popular Nations for all of these informs. Really, like even um, Digne, left back card, 74K right now. This card fluctuates a lot. I bought a couple for lower to mid 60s today, uh, kind of at a, at a low point down here, 67K. And he's right back up to 74, 75. So I would be a little bit careful if we do get a Robertson Team of the Week card. You might see his card price drop or dip a little bit. This Digne card um, or other left backs in the game like Theo Hernandez. But that's a decent shout. Wijnaldum's a really good shout. I like that one a lot, especially if we get a um, the Robertson left back in form. That would be a good shout for that card. Uh, a little link investment right there. But again, you can go through some of these older Team of the Weeks and look and say, okay, what's going to be good links this week? I honestly think Havertz, he's a riser like every week. I've been trading with this card today. As you saw on my transfer list, he's 127 right now. He's dropped off a ton. Last weekend, he was 165K with Timo Werner in Team of the Week. And you know, right now, this Havertz card is literally under 130K for Kai Havertz his inform card. And there's not a ton of center attacking mids in the Bundesliga. There's a few, you have the Muller screen card and you have the, um, inform, um, the inform Coutinho and I guess Sabitzer, but German, he is him and Muller are the only two Germans. And you know, it's Havertz. He's got the five-star weak foot doesn't anymore. That's right. He's got the four-star weak foot, the four-star skills, and people just like him in this game. He's got the hype from last year, a little bit in FIFA 19. So if you see this card again in the mid 120s, that could easily be 140, 145K come Thursday morning. But again, I want to focus on a lot of these informs and out of packs cards because I don't want to take the risk with the golds. Now, there are a few golds that you might be able to look at, and those would be some of the gold cards that are actually out of packs right now because the road to the final cards are in packs instead of the gold. First option right away that I think of is Usman. Dembele. I think he's like a 36, 37,000 coins right now at the moment. 35K for Usman. Uh, so he's risen up a little bit from where he was when he first went out of packs. It looks like he's 36K, um, which honestly isn't too bad, in my opinion. If you look at this card, um, let's go over here to Footbin and take a look at him, actually. Usman Dembele's gold card, after he has gone out of packs for this new Road to the Final version being in packs, he was 31K on Friday. He's only up about four to 5,000 coins last weekend for the weekend league. The week before that, he was 46,000 coins. This is still an integral part of a lot of people's teams. And the price difference between this card and this card is literally 800,000 coins. Literally 800,000 coin difference between this version, which has got like a plus four, plus three, plus three, plus three, and a plus one in pace. Um, and then the gold version. So I would definitely look at this card this week, even look at this blue version a little bit too. This could be a solid weekend league investment. He might go from 35K up to 45K just because there's so many people in this game that use Usman Dembele um, and they want it, they still want to get him in their teams. 34K at the moment for Usman. A little bit of selling going on. This card is out of pack. So any supply you see on the market is like, People panic selling their teams, getting their coins liquid for some reason. Um, so if you see this card again, like 33, 34,000 coins, I'm tempted to buy that one at 34 because that's honestly a pretty decent deal. Uh, 34K for this card. Out of packs, I could see him over 40 on uh, Thursday morning after awards for sure. Just because people want this card in their teams and so many people use this card that they can't Think about how many people can go buy the road to the final version. It's 800K more, not as much. So Usman, I kind of like the gold card out of packs for him. Um, but the other ones, you know, Militao, not really, I guess a little bit. His card is so cheap though. It's gonna, it's got a lot of supply and a, and a lot of people started buying that card um, already since he has gone out of packs. So what is he, 6,000 coins at the moment? Yeah, 6,000 coins for Militao. So I don't know, I don't know if that's really... I, a weekend league investment opportunity for that one. You might see guys like Mane and Conte go up, but I, you know, for your 
how much you're paying to go get yourself a, a gold money. It's like 400K, right? Yeah, just under 400K for this gold money card. His price really hasn't moved out of packs just because he's so expensive. He's so meta. And um, it's just a very pricey card. And people are like scared at this point in the game. 380 for Mane is actually pretty cheap. So we'd have 20K attacks if we sold him at 400. What does Footbin say? Because he's usually not even 380. Footbin says that 380 is very low for his card. And he was 413K last weekend. What was he during the day yesterday? He never really reached. Okay, so he was 379, 380. So that's kind of low for his card being out of packs, but that's just people selling their cards to get coins. So if you have a Mane that you want, uh, you know, maybe you could do a little bit of a weekend league flip with him. If you see him at like 375, you'll probably be able to get over 400K for him come Thursday with his card being out of packs. So that's kind of my only thing with those. Um, again, I would just, again, focus on this week. Popular nations, popular leagues, and informs or out of pack special cards so basically wants to watch his screams uh or uh informs and that's kind of where i would focus this week again you can look at the most popular players that are gold cards but just this week it's been kind of dead and a lot of people haven't been playing the game probably because they're doing icon objectives maybe a little bit of that in there but also just because the game the content this week is just not drawing people into the game overpriced svcs cards and packs that are you don't even give out packs for like we've seen before it just feels like it's people are getting pushed away from this game a little bit now there are some cards that are golds that i think are just stupid cheap antoine griezmann's 180,000 coins on the market 179k for striker griezmann he was like 250 or 230 last week a couple days ago and this is a card that's in so many people's teams this might be the kind of guy you see rise a little bit on Thursday if it's a gold card. Again, the, the meta, the most upper tier players, especially if it's a good team of the week this week, you know, people will want to try to get some packs. Obviously, the weekend league rewards packs won't be for this team of the week. They'll be for the next one. But if there's a good team of the week, that would, that would make people want to be on the game. So that's something that I had, you know, I want to say something about as well with the if messi's in packs that will you know maybe that's gonna maybe ea is gonna put messi in packs today on wednesday for team of the week and then everything's gonna change we're gonna have more promo packs if they juice this week's team of the week i would prepare for a big weekend of content on foot so again a juice team of the week usually means a lot of content but you know messi neymar and bape some of those guys you'll probably see them rise a little bit but again i'm just I'm too scared of the gold cards, to be honest. Some of the gold cards might make you money this week. They could be good money makers. You know, guys that rise every week, like De Young, like Varan, like Langley. Some of these guys have dropped off so much that it just seems impossible for them not to rise on Thursday. For those kind of guys, especially like Lacazette, who's like 32,000 coins. Is, he, is that how much he is? 31K, is he 30? Like, this is just crazy. This used to be a guy that I would flip on Thursdays for 80K. Like, two weeks ago, I was selling this guy for 80K, and he is just absolutely tanked in price thanks to Vardy in this market crash. So, some of these guys, though, are still very high value. Like, some of these guys are used a lot in weekend league teams. They might move a little bit on Thursday, but I think your best investment's going to be still with some of these out of packs, informs, and stuff like that. So, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Again, the sell time for these informs and stuff like that, like let's say you get yourself a Wijnaldum uh, for around 165,000 coins, I think would be a great price on that card. Um, let's say you get one for 165, you're like, yo, Nate, when am I gonna sell this card? For all the cards, I'm gonna say it, you're gonna wanna sell before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. Just to be safe, I mean, technically this week we know what's going on, so you might be able to hold throughout the day Thursday into Friday, but if we get any more information Thursday um, about what's going to happen during this weekend for Road to the Final, I would be a little bit scared just in case EA drops a bomb of information on us. Like if they're saying that these Road to the Final cards are going to be in packs through the weekend, this first set and the second set will both be in packs, that would maybe make it a little bit scary. And of course, on Thursday, if it doesn't come today, we will get the Ben Yedder or Di Maria. As some people have brought to my attention, it's not as unlikely for Di Maria to win this as we originally thought. But wow, 254, it's not even selling. It's been up for four minutes on the market in this inform. Oh my goodness. I Can I make money on that? Dude, I don't, I don't want to buy that because the 
but player of the month is coming and there's going to be undercuts underneath that. So if maybe I'll see one listed up underneath. I'll add it to my transfer targets and kind of watch his price here as I end the video. But um, this guy's player of the month SBC should be coming, I think, on Thursday. I do think it is actually going to be on Thursday and it's not going to be as early as we once thought it was. Which team of the week was this man in again? Ben Yedder, team of the week six. Um, this guy's player of the month SBC is like the biggest thing that we have to look forward to this week because if it, it does come out and it costs anywhere less than like 350K, this car, this market's going to go absolutely nuts because um, there's so many people that desire this SBC and if they make it cheap, of course that card's gone now as it should be. Um, that's going to be an SBC that so many people are going to go out and do and you're going to see panic on all areas of the market. Now I want to talk about road to the final cards again, just one last bit. A lot of you guys want to know when to buy them. Man, it's so tough because we haven't been getting any supply this week. And mm, I would hate to tell you guys to buy some of these cards, especially a guy like Militao. So many of you guys want Militao and I know why I would hate to tell you to buy him tomorrow on or today on Wednesday and buy him at whatever price he is. Let's say he's 475 K and then the next day, EA drops a madness. There's panic selling on the market because of uh, Ben Yedder at Play of the Month. There's a ton of pack supply, and Militao drops back down to like 420K. I would feel terrible. So to play it safe, man, I would wait. EA could very well turn the pack weight up and crank it on Thursday for these cards because they can do that at any time for all we know. And these cards might for the first couple hours after weekend league rewards on Thursday, they might take a big hit. So that's one thing I would also say Thursday during rewards, the first, the couple hours, like the hour or two after rewards are released, watch the market and watch these road to the final cards with a very, very close eye, because if the packway is juiced for some reason, people are going to see that and they're going to go and buy these cards. And that's going to be a perfect buy opportunity for you. Um, if these cards do go out of packs on Friday. So just watch that again. It's kind of like we're rolling with the punches this week. We're going to have to be, whoa, ah, 495 from Militao. Nice little snipe right there. I don't even know if I would have made profit off of that, but it was worth a try. Um, just kind of rolling with the punches and see what whatever content EA drops today on Wednesday um, is going to be a very interesting thing as well. Again, watch these prices, these inform prices. Since we're buying informs and not buying golds, watch their prices from 6 p.m. UK today until late tonight, like right before rewards. People will be selling off these cards from their teams, expecting something big from rewards or wanting to rebuild around some type of new player. So all the informs that you would have your eyes on, maybe Bernard, Ducore, Otamendi, another scream card, this Coutinho, Watch them all day today if you can. If you have the ability to hop on, compare price, add some of the cheapest ones to your, your watch list and see if they sell in the next couple of hours, that's a great way to tell um, if those cards uh, are, are going down or, or going up in price. So that's my thoughts this week for Thursday flipping. It's going to be a complicated week. This week has been crazy, man. Really hyped to start the weekend with the new promo cards and everything. And then the middle of this week has just been very meh. Like they want us to focus on the icon objectives, I guess. And it's making people not build teams for weekend league and focus on those. So that's kind of interesting that uh, maybe we'll see a little bit of an extra market pickup today on Wednesday, later in the evening into Thursday with weekend league rewards as people sold their teams to do icons. Now they're going to buy it back to play weekend league. We'll see what happens with that. We'll be here to cover it and to watch it, of course. But I wanted to get you guys some of this information to stay ahead of the eight ball to get ready for this investing period this week and how I think it could uh, pan out. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, comment down below with those questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.